right, class. First off, as always, good day. I'm glad you're here. So today's lesson is going to be about the purpose of a constitution. We're going to go over the United States preamble really quickly. And then we're going to end it with um, a little thing on the political parties, okay? Um, we're not going to go too much in depth on this lesson, but I just want you guys to have uh, some basic prior knowledge before we get into political parties later on like you know like what is their purpose and things like that later on we'll get into more specifics okay so let's go ahead and get to your objectives all right there they are so we're going to analyze what and why a constitution are created we're going to critique the importance and effectiveness of political parties and we're going to develop a larger logical argument on whether our constitution needs to be rewritten Okay, now we're, I'm not going to show you the whole constitution, but just from reading the preamble, you'll have a good idea of the style that the constitution is written. Later on, we'll go over the constitution and uh, I'll ask this question again. So be prepared to, you know, later on in the future, you'll be like, didn't we answer this question? Yeah, but now that you have a clear idea of what the constitution how it's written why it's written that way you know what do you think now and see if your answer changes or if it doesn't okay so here's your warm-up picture so my question to you is this what do you think this artist is trying to say about the political parties all right so look at the donkey look at the elephant um Look what each one of them, the shirt's saying, what they're saying to each other. Okay. So what do you think this artist is trying to say? Okay. So think about it. Okay. Uh, pause the video because we're moving on in three, two, one. Okay. So the Constitution has three main purposes. Number one, it sets out ideals that the people believe and share in. You know, what do we believe? What are our goals, in a sense, that we're trying to achieve in this country? The second one says, establish the basic structure of the government and defines its duties and powers. So basically, what is our government's purpose? Why do we have it? You know, how, what, are, what rights do they have? What rights do we have? You know, um, what powers does the government have and what power does the people have, if we have any? You know, so it just it just clearly states it on there. And the last one says it provides the supreme law for the country. So, again, um, what's right, what's wrong, what's legal, what's illegal, you know, that's what it does. Now. Contrary to what some people in this country believe, we are not the only country in the world with the Constitution. There are other countries with constitutions. Um, the French have one, Kenya, India, Italy, Switzerland, and there's several, several more that have constitutions. So um, for if you ever hear people say, the United States has the only constitution in the country in the world, no. No, there are other countries that have one. Now, you might hear the term constitutional government. Now, what is that? It's basically any type of constitution that clearly recognizes limits of the power of the government. That says on there, this is what the government cannot do. You know, or this is the, the power that the government has, you know, but, you know, it can be limited or it can be given more depending okay so but it clearly recognizes that there are limits to the government and that you know like majority of the time the people have the power okay but it does say that the limits of the government power they're not all powerful it's not you know a dictatorship and things like that you know or an autocracy which you'll learn about later on all right, so preamble. Now, 
this it's a it's a statement that sets forth the goals and purposes to be served by the government now some of you guys uh, had to recite this your eighth grade year i did when i was in eighth grade some of you guys didn't which i've been finding out through the past five years a lot of you guys didn't have to do this um but i did like i said and some other students have told me yeah my middle school we had to recite this okay and this is what r says the united states preamble and our constitution says we the people of the united states in order to form a more perfect union establish justice ensure tranquility provide for the common defense promote the general welfare and secure the blessing of liberty to ourselves and our posterity do ordain and establish this constitution for the united states okay beautifully written but i'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking okay what does that mean okay you know um again it says right there establish justice it wants to make sure that justice is served that laws are set and fair not just for one particular group but for everyone Okay, ensure tranquility. Tranquility is another nice word for like peace, you know. And if you keep reading going down, it says secure the blessing of liberty, which again, liberty means freedom to ourselves and our posterity. Posterity means the future. So like your children, your great grandchildren, things like that. So we want to make sure in our country that we have freedoms and our children's children's children has those same freedoms as well. You know, and it says then do ordain and establish. So we're setting it up. We're doing it here in this country. That's what this constitution is about. Okay. Um, I'll probably be making a TikTok video on the preamble going a little bit more in depth. So if you want to learn more, be sure you check that video out. Okay. Now, the Constitution provides the supreme law of the land. Okay, now what does that mean? Basically, these laws are supposed to be, you know, for everyone. Rich and the poor, the powerful and the powerless, everyone. Right? It's seen as a superior binding force, you know. Um, now, this is where a lot, some students in my past have said, and this government class but it's not like that you know these people some people especially with money and power get away with stuff that if you and i did that we'd be going to jail for the rest of our lives yeah you're right you are right the justice system is not fair people get away with some horrible things just because of their status whether it's rich poor rich powerful you know, celebrity whatever it may be and yeah you're right they they steal millions of dollars they get slapped on the wrist you and i we steal a twinkie we go to jail you know is it fair absolutely not you know but this is what we're trying to the part the purpose of the constitution it's trying to say this is our purpose and you have to remember this is written way back you know, in 1780s, 1790s, you know, this was the hope that the law would be equal to everyone. And that's what we should strive for. Okay. Now, again, the Constitution, it gets its authority from the people. We, you and I, the other people in our country, give it power. Okay. Now, the other thing is, though, too. Uh, under the Constitution, a special assembly chosen by the people could be used to create these laws as well. That's why we have representatives, congressmen, senators, things like that. You know, that's the special assembly that we choose and we elect them to represent us. And they, in turn, you know, create laws and stuff like that. Okay? So if you don't like 
your representative because you feel that they and this person is not listening to us. They don't care about us. You have the power to kick them out. You and the people in your district can kick them out or in your state. Okay. Again, you do have power and it's called the vote. But this is again, we're, we're going to talk about a little bit later too. Um, more likely in several weeks that people tend to think, well, I'm just one person. You know how many people think that when it comes to voting a lot, but you do have power. Okay. Also the constitution it serves as the extent and limits of the government's power, as well as the rights of the citizens. We will talk about your rights as a citizen. Um, I should be back in the classroom when we go over the amendments, which are your rights as citizens, and we will break them down. What exactly is the First Amendment right mean? Your Fourth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, you know, we will go over that because you should know your rights as citizens and know the limitation of the power of the government. All right, so political parties. Now, I added this first part because um, I've had some students in the past who I don't know where they heard this from, but they said, you know, political parties are illegal. And I was like, wait, what are you, what are you talking about? And they're like, yeah, there's a part in the Constitution that says political parties can't be formed. Uh, guys, I read the Constitution front to back and, and every which way, and um, it doesn't say political parties can't be formed at all okay yes george washington on his farewell address warned the country political parties are bad and they could destroy our country yes he did say that but it's not in our constitution so yes political parties are formed you might recognize those two big ones the elephant is the republicans and the donkey is the democrats Okay, now what is the purpose of political parties? Well, it's basically for people to come together who share the same belief in what the government's role should be. Some people think the government should really be doing stuff to help the people doing as much as they can. And some people believe, no, no, the, you give the government too much power, they're going to keep wanting more and more, and then they're going to take away your rights as citizens. You know, don't give them any power. Whereas, again, some people feel like, no, you should give them power because that power then they can use to help the citizens. Okay. Also, these political parties is where people can come together to protest, voice their approval or disapproval of the government's, you know, laws or issues that may be coming up. Um, court rulings, things like that. Okay. And I'm sure <clears throat> you've seen in the past, I mean, easily eight years, the political divide, one group saying this, the other group saying that this group thinks their, their political leader is like the best thing that's walked on this earth. The other group says, no, you're crazy. That that person sucks. Our guy is better. And this is where the clashing begins. This is where issues arise. When one group wants things their way, but the other political group wants things their way, and it just so happens their way contradicts the other group's mentality, other group's idea. You know, so this is where the fighting begins. Okay, um, so are political groups helpful? Yes and no. And again, we will be going more in depth on this, these two groups, um, later on. And as you can see from this picture, it's not just two groups we have. There's tons of other groups, but not many people join the other groups because people want to join the big groups. You know, this my side's gonna win over this side, things like that. You know, so 
Alrighty, so looking at the preamble, and if you forgot how the wording was, go back to the, that part of the video or just look at your notes. Look how it's written. That's just a sample of our Constitution. And like I said, later on, you're going to see the actual whole thing. But I want to know this, based off the preamble, based off that, do you think the Constitution should be rewritten to make it easier for people to understand? Why or why not? So the writing prompts on the bottom to help you guys out if you don't know how to start a sentence. I believe the Constitution should, shouldn't, whichever one you believe, be rewritten because, and explain why. Okay. So once you're done with this question, you're done with the lesson. Uh, hopefully you learned something new. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, again, I'll be making some TikTok videos uh, on the uh, preamble, you know, to go over a little bit more in depth. Because uh, again, some of the wording, some people kind of don't understand it. So I'll, I'll uh, go a little bit more in depth on it so you guys can get a clearer understanding. Okay. So you guys. Take care, you be safe, and I'll see you guys later, okay?